Hey yogis and athletes, Maple here. We've got another awesome class for you today for your 24 days of fitness challenge. Today we're working on a nice yoga power flow. We'll have a nice Shavasana at the end. Uh, no equipment is needed. However, if you would like a set of yoga blocks, feel free to, of course, always grab those in your practice. Grab your stuff, set up, and meet me on your mat when you're ready. Okay, welcome back everybody. Glad you can make it here today. We are gonna start seated in Sukhasana, this comfortable seat, shoulders down the back, kind of crisscross applesauce, whatever way feels good. Of course, if lotus is in your practice, feel free to sit in lotus pose. Just make sure your spine is tall, your sitting bones are grounded, and you can start to feel your belly button and the pit of your belly pull back and up into the spine and back up nice and tall for the posture. And go ahead and let your eyes soften, get heavy, or close all the way. Hands can be resting on your thighs, knees, or shins, up or down. And just start to take a few moments to settle into this space, bringing focus and awareness and attention to detail of your breath. So if sealing your lips is possible today, breathing in and out of your nose, ujjayi pranayama, bring that fire breath in, that heat power. Breathe in through the nose, nice and deep. Fill your spine, elongate even more from the base all the way up through the crown. And as you exhale back out your nose, just feel your body soften, your muscles have this gentle release, but maintain that posture. Breathe in for that height, that expansion, but that constrictedness ribs into the chest. And that release as you exhale. Think of widening across your collarbones, letting your throat feel soft and open, and really focus on this rise and fall in your chest. Almost like you get this big puff chest, this billowy heart. So I'm going to feel this grounded connection in through your seat, plugging into the earth's energy and drawing that energy up especially as you straighten up in your posture, allowing the prana, the chi, whatever you wanna call this life force energy flow to move through you with more ease as we sit up tall, unblocking the passageway. Maybe you let your shoulders even feel wider as you draw your deltoids, the front anterior side back a little bit more in space. This is your time to settle in. One more round of breath. Start to dip your chin towards your chest. And either with eyes closed or a hazy gaze at the floor, just sit back a little bit more in space. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Stay active. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. We'll interlace our fingertips, flip your palms forward. Hands are about in line with the shoulders. Press through the heels of your hands rather than those fingers. You don't want to hyperextend the fingers. On an inhale, we'll sweep the arms overhead, arch your back so your belly and your chest come forward and lift up. And as you exhale, palms flip forward towards you so you can see the bottoms of your hands around your back, belly pulling in. You've got this nice C curve. And with your inhale, repeat. Lift up, have the core active and tight. That'll protect your back. And as you exhale, round. That nice side view, inhale. And exhale, really round, blow and bow back. Two more times, inhale up. Exhale, round. Stretching through the backs of your shoulders. Last time up. Last time down. Down and round. And inhale, come up long spine, arms overhead. We'll take those long arms over to your right side. So right arm down, nice side body stretch. Keep your left hip rooted down. Just feel that stretch spreading through the intercostal muscles, allowing your breath to be more full here. Pull your top shoulder down from your ear and back into the socket. And on your inhale, come back up through center. 
and exhale down to the other side. Plant your opposite hand, shoulders down your back. Melt your hips into the mat and lift and spread up through the ribs. Top shoulder softening down as you maybe look up or maybe look down or somewhere comfortable for your neck. Breathe deep. Nice, inhale all the way back up, two arms overhead. And this time as you exhale, twist to your right and bring your front palm to anchor on your thigh, your back palm behind you, support, roll the shoulders down. Breathe in and find the length in your spine. Unblock any stagnant energy. And let your exhale twist a little deeper, possibly bringing your chin back towards your shoulder. Breathe in for height. Breathe out to twist. Breathe in, last exhale twist. Inhale through center, arms overhead once again. And exhale twist now to the left side. Try to keep the base of your skull lined up with the base of your spine. Get tall with the inhale. And using the exhales for that twisting sensation, maybe you feel it in your neck as you bring your chin back. And if that's intense, you can just keep your chin and nose, your gaze in the same direction as your heart space. Keep the pit of your belly pulling up, inhale. And last exhale to twist. Unwind through center, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to your lap. You can kind of come forward to your tabletop now, maybe shimmy and roll across the knees. Parallel your shins behind you. And we're gonna actually lower to our forearms today so the elbows line up right under the shoulders. Pit of your belly pulling in tight because we're active in our core today. On an inhale, lengthen your right leg behind you. And as you lengthen back, squeeze the right glute, lift a little higher. This is your inhale breath, really extend through the leg to activate the muscles. And as you exhale, round knee to chest, maybe even knee to nose. Think cat back here as you round your back up, press through your grounded shin and your arms. Inhale, reach back, squeeze up, squeeze the glute. And exhale, knee to nose or knee to chest. Inhale, get long and back. Exhale, last time, knee to your chest. And inhale, lengthen it back, hold for a breath in. And exhale, plant it down, switch sides. Left leg back now, squeeze the left glute, get nice and tall, pull the pit of your belly in. Inhale, and exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale round, really squeeze that left glute. Last one, lengthen back. Squeeze, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen it back and hold, lift up nice and high. And exhale, plant it down. <sighs> nice, rise up to your palms and tuck your toes downward facing dog. So this might be the first one of your day. It's certainly the first one of this practice. Feel free to pedal it out. Lift and lower the heels, maybe sway the heels and the hips. Let's get into those muscles, get into the joints. Actively press through your thumbs and index fingers. Stay grounded through the hands. Let that energy rise up through the shoulders, up through the side bodies, and up and out through the tailbone, reaching up and back. Find some stillness here. Nice job, bend your knees a little bit, look forward and we'll tippy toe forward. Keep your feet nice and wide, fold in half, your first forward fold. You can have your knees nice and bent, torso to thighs, hands can anchor down or maybe you capture elbow creases in a rag doll. Start to straighten the legs a little bit, ease a little more into the hamstrings and maybe sway that weight side to side. Release your neck muscles, maybe a little nod of your head, no and yes. Really like to shift the weight around from the front of the toes to the back of the heels, from the outer sides to the inside arches. Just really playing with the weight, checking on my balance. We'll start to find some stillness here. And you can let your hands once again hang heavy to the mat and re-bend your knees if they were more straight. You're going to rise up to standing, but I'd like you to glue your chin towards your chest and come up with the strength of your legs like a squat. Arms can just kind of hang nice and heavy all the way until you get to the top. Shoulders down your back from the top. And inhale, arms overhead, mountain pose, big breath. And exhale, let them swipe back down to your sides. 
Inhale, reach up mountain. Exhale, take it back to your sides. And one more time, really like you're exaggeratingly reaching through those long arms, stretch them out and take them back to your side. From this point, we're gonna grab behind our booty. So the top of your thighs, the crease just below the glute, shoulders down your back, take an inhale. And as you exhale, a halfway lift. So you can actually fold down halfway Stay holding on to that nice flesh just below the glutes. Soft bend in your knees. Reach forward through the crown of your head. Tuck your chin so you're really reaching long through the spine. One more breath in here. And as you exhale, fold, slide the arms down the backs of your thighs all the way to your heels. And slide up one more time, backs of your thighs to that halfway lift. Big inhale, roll your shoulders down your back. Reach through your crown. And exhale, down dog. Nice, from your down dog, we're gonna round our back like cat into a high plank. Hold a nice, strong high plank from this point. Friends with wrist issues, you can take it to a forearm plank or you can always be on knees. Shoulders kind of spread apart as you actively press down and then re-elongate through the spine. Take an inhale as you exhale, down dog. And two more times, we're gonna round forward with the back like cat into a plank with an inhale. And then exhale, round it all the way back down, dog. And this is our last time. Inhale, come forward, round back into that high plank and lower to a low plank. Hug your elbows back. Yes, knees can be down here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift up the chest and exhale, downward facing dog. So good, first chaturanga. Inhale, sweep your right leg to the sky, reach up. And exhale, low lunge, plant your foot. Come into warrior one, back heel pivots down. Rise up with breath, arms overhead. Of course, they can be at heart or at hips. And just settle in. Take a moment to breathe, maybe close your eyes. And just to locate where your body's center of gravity is resting. Maybe you need to switch it. Maybe it's just feeling perfect. Take a big breath in. Stay deep in through the legs, breath out. Last inhale, reach up, maybe even look up towards your hands. And as you exhale, it's a twist to the right. So bring your hands through heart. We're just gonna start to twist through the right. Stay solid in the legs. Keep your legs planted. Nice deep stretch on that back calf. And you can just twist to the right. Your elbow does not have to touch the thigh like we more commonly would in a crescent lunge. Keep the palms pressing together, the elbows in line with those wrists. Stay rooted in the feet and just twist to the right. Use the strength of your core, ignite the belly to spine, and then use the side body obliques to twist you a little more. Soften your shoulders. Last breath in. Twist a little more breath out. So good. Inhale to a crescent lunge. You're gonna unwind and then pivot the left heel up and in line with the toes facing forward. Press through the front heel. Make sure your right knee is about over the ankle rather than drifting super forward. Take a big breath in here. And as you exhale, it's lean and fly arms. You can keep the legs as is. Just sweep the hands behind you. Hug your shoulders down your back. And reach through the crown of your head. Scissors, squeeze those inner thighs for some more energy to light you up and hug into the midline. Last breath in. Last breath out. Open up warrior two from here. Front, left palm rather, pivots to the back. Right palm becomes your front palm. And dive into your feet. Root down into the heels, root down into the shins and the arches. Big inhale. Big exhale. So good, reverse your warrior. Sweep that front palm up, stretching out those ribs, breathing into the intercostals. Commit to the lunge in your front knee. Just open up. Shoulders soft, last breath in, and exhale, extended side angle. Same legs, you can use your forearm as a thigh, maybe you drip that right hand down to a block, or maybe it plants on the ground. You can always adjust your stance as needed. Take your gaze up or down, shoulders soft in your back, stay rooted in the strength of your feet. Let your chest open, your throat feel soft, last breath in. And as you exhale, think grounded twist, think maybe low lunge. Left palm plants under your left shoulder, left heel lifts high on the toes, right hand goes up. 
hug those inner thighs, keep your back heel over the toes. You always have an option to bring a knee here to the ground or keep it up, scissor the thighs. Last breath in. And exhale, low lunge, plant both palms. From here, we're gonna step it back to a one leg plank. So you can either hover your right leg or you can rest your right toes or top of foot on the left heel. Breathe in, shift slightly forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Option to untuck the toes at this point. Bring both feet to the mat for up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Big breath in. Big breath out, so good. Other side, sweep your left leg up nice and high. Big inhale. And low lunge, plant your left foot. Find warrior one. Bring your back heel in. Toes slightly out and settle in. Find where there might be places of tension in your body and try to soften by using your breath. Lighting up the other muscles around rooting in the feet, plugging into earth energy, bringing it up through your roots. And take action with your core, plug your belly in. Last big breath in, maybe look up past your palms, bringing them together and exhale, twist left. Hands to the heart, hinge a little bit, twist left. Stay rooted in the feet. You can always lift up the back heel and walk it an inch forward or so if needed. Scissor the inner thighs. You might start feeling a shaking. That's okay. Using the muscles. Can you soften the shoulders a little more? Inhale to find some more length through the crown. Exhale to twist. Last breath in. Last breath out. Nice, inhale for a crescent lunge. Pivot the back heel up now. Bring it in line with the toes facing forward. Scissor squeeze your inner thighs. Deep inhale, root down in your left heel as you exhale, pull your right heel a little higher. Last inhale, lengthen your spine, shoulders over hips. And exhale, lean and fly arms. Sweep them back, reach forward through the heart and your crown. Press off the right ball of foot so your right hip lines up forward with the left hip. Lengthen your neck as you draw your shoulders back. Last breath in. Last breath out. Warrior two, inhale. Open up now facing that right side of your mat. Left foot and arm are forward. Root into your legs. Reach front and back. Almost like the future and the past. You're right here in the present moment. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. And sweep that front palm up, root in the back foot. Commit to the lunge in your front knee. And get some more space in those intercostals of the left ribs. Last breath in. And breath out, extended side angle. Again, you might use the forearm as a thigh or use a block. Drip that left palm down, maybe even to the mat. Create more space as you need with the feet, the legs. Soften your shoulders down your back. So good, so strong. Take another breath in. Stay committed here. Engage your inner thighs with your exhale. So strong, last inhale. And exhale, grounded twist. Right palm under your right shoulder, left palm up, left heel high on the toes. Rather right heel high on the toes. This time your left foot heel stays grounded. Scissors squeeze the inner thighs. Breathe in soft. Last inhale breath. And exhale, low lunge. One leg plank, take that left foot back. You can hold it in a hover, tuck the toes on the right heel or maybe just rest the foot. Inhale, shift slightly forward. Exhale through your high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, your up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Woohoo, big breath in. And big breath out. Float down to your knees. Take a seat. So good. Stretch the groin a little bit. Butterfly pose. These soles of feet together. Sit up tall, shoulders down your back. 
You can use your hands to start massaging your feet, pulling the arches away. And we'll settle in so you can stay upright or you have the option to fold and round. If you have a block, you might fold and round, putting your forehead on the block, or you might just bring your palms out at this point. And keep your tailbone rooted down as your hip points come up. So you've got this base that's rooted, connected with that earth energy. And this fluid rounded back. Let your neck be open, maybe your eyes closed. Another round of breath. And if you're rounded, support yourself with your palms to come back up to that neutral spine. So good. I'm gonna take Janus or Sasana, this side bend. Take your right leg out, bring your left sole of foot towards that thigh. It's a nice long spine, hips are forward, shoulders are over those hips. You can bring your right palm out somewhere over that right leg or anywhere you can place it on a block. Bring the left arm up just for a moment, breathe in, nice long side body. And as you exhale, we'll hinge over like a side body stretch, just lengthening the side bodies today. You can always reach for the toe. You can use a strap if you wanted. We wanna keep that left hip grounded. You can also just take your hand over the right ear and just it's not like you're supporting your neck completely or resting on your head of course but you're just kind of giving yourself this backup and this resting spot to hang out let your chest open your shoulders soften into your back one more cycle of breath And very carefully with your inhale, light up your side bodies, come all the way back up. And we're gonna switch legs out from here. So extend your left leg, bring the right sole of foot into the left inner thigh, sit up tall with the shoulders over hips, big breath in, reach your right arm up and slide left side body down as you stretch open the right side. Keep your right hip grounded, even I can feel it lifting off the mat. So squish it back down, get that solid, Base. and reach up and over you can deep dive in the more you get there the more time we're spent here and stay open with the chest open with the, the heart the collarbones the throat and the shoulders down your back last round of breath So good on your inhale, rise all the way back up. Oh, friends, amazing. We're gonna shimmy to our backs now. So we elongate your legs, lower down onto the mat. Walk your shoulders down your back. And from here, you can draw your knees into your chest, apanasana. Give yourself a nice squeeze, nice tight squeeze, maybe grabbing elbows with the palms, flattening your low back on the mat, and drawing your sit bones towards the bottom side of the room there at the bottom of your mat. Shoulders soften to the ground. It's a nice rinse, a nice squeeze. Happy baby from here. You can take your knees a little wider towards the ribs. Maybe thread your hands through the inner thighs, capture the outer sides of your feet, or you can capture your thighs instead. Let's find a little stillness and then start to add on your movement. I like to take V'd out wide legs to butterfly legs, this nice active stretch. Just a couple more rounds of breath with whatever stillness or whatever motion you are doing.
And from here, friends, gather your knees back to your chest, grab hold of your right shin, and let your left leg go long on the mat. So a long active foot all the way at the bottom of your mat. Squeeze your right knee towards your right armpit. Keep your hips and shoulders soft into the ground. Take a big inhale here. Imagine feeling more space across your open hips. And as you exhale, it's supine twist. Take the right leg to the left side of your mat. You might even shimmy your hips to the middle of your mat a little bit more to stack those hips. And T, open your arms, keeping your right shoulder in the ground. Got this gentle rotation happening in the spine and this deep opening in the shoulders as well as across the right outer hip. A nice stretch for the low back even. Another cycle of breath. As we begin to come out, I want you to make sure your left leg is active. So either flex the foot or point the toes, but get the muscles lit up. Draw the pit of your belly towards your spine so the core is tight and start to draw back through center. Right hip to the ground, both knees back to your chest with a long neutral spine. We'll grab the left shin and lengthen the right active leg long onto the mat. Open up your hips a little more by drawing your left knee to your left armpit. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, supine twist, glide that left leg to the right side. And just stack your hips. You can always use a block under the left thigh. And look towards your left side, keeping that shoulder soft from your ear. If your shoulders lifted off the ground, come back a little bit in space so you can feel the touch of the earth below. Settle back in and start to Become aware of your breath once more. Start to reactivate that right leg if you've softened into it. Either point or flex the toes, feel the muscles light up. Pull the pit of your belly into your stomach. Take a breath in. Start to draw your left hip back to the mat, knees back to your chest. Breath out. So good. Maybe you choose to bow your chin, head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat into the knees. Squeeze yourself nice and tight, this bow of gratitude for your practice. And when you're ready, Shavasana is waiting for you. Release your body long. You can walk your shoulders down your back. Let your palms flip up towards the sky. Take up space. So settle in, it's often our breath that lets us get there. So take one more big full inhale through your nose, fill up, let your belly rise. An open mouth, let something go so you can rest in a little longer, a little deeper, a little more comfortably into your final posture of corpse pose. Shavasana allows you to rest, to repair the body, the mind gets to wander and process all the information from your practice. It's particularly important to spend time here as we're in this holiday season. The hustle and bustle picks up. It's like we don't take a message from the universe. Our own planet, nature, she slows down greatly during these months, yet our societies, our cultures tells us we really start to speed up. 
the yoga helps bring balance back, back to the way we are, gets us back in touch with nature. We'll spend as much time here as feels right. Soften a little more of your breath into the places you might need. You can imagine gentle palms, warm, heating up the tops of your shoulders and softly pressing you even more firmly into the mat, a little opening across the chest. And you can imagine those same palms, warm, with heat pressing on the tops of your hips, just softly snuggling, maybe shimmying a little bit side to side and pressing down into the ground, allowing this release with the compression. And through all this spacious opening, allow your belly to rise with every breath you take in. And let something go with every breath you release. As we begin to seal this practice, bring your awareness back into this room. Feel the temperature around you, the sensation of your body connected on the floor. Where are all those points that access the ground energy, the earth? We tap into that matter and pull it up inside of us. So just feeling those spots of contact. We'll slowly bring our roots back up out of the ground. Like a prong we plug in, we want to gently pull out. Well, we don't lose what we've gained. We carry it with us. The energy, the knowledge, it's all there. And when you feel ready to start to move on, slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes, maybe flaring them wide and wiggling, squeezing tight. You can roll your wrists and your ankles from here. Then actively start to bring in a good morning stretch. I know that I always like to do that. It feels so good. Maybe a yawn. Oh, arch your back off the mat. And softly start to roll to your favorite side. Your bicep can be a nice, comfortable pillow for you. Keeping your eyes closed or at least a hazy, foggy gaze on the floor. And when you're ready to move on, support yourself carefully up to a seat. And then we'll begin, we'll end where we began, seated comfortably in our Sukhasana, shoulders soft down your back. This time, join me if you'd like with hands at heart center, eyes still heavy, with so much gratitude for you, for one another, for our fellow humans, for the animals, for the oceans, for the air, the sunlight, the moonlight. So much gratitude. Do the, all we can to make this world a better place. And you don't walk this world alone. You have so many others with you who care. So keep shining those smiles. Keep the hope in your heart. And keep working towards your better future. Thank you for your time today. Namaste.